Hi, I'm Dr. Berglund and you're getting this video because you just came to see me and now you're thinking, okay, he told me a lot of stuff in this visit. Don't worry, don't worry. First of all, I have a website and there's on my website, it has a spot for low thyroid dosing. But, but, but here I am and I'm just gonna reiterate what I told you in the back room and if I even told you stuff in the back room, maybe it was, we were rushed today and we didn't get to all of it. So today we're gonna discuss all of it. Okay. So you have low thyroid, that's why I gave you this supplement. And these are the supplements that I have that I use for low thyroid. As you can see, there's a lot here, okay? Mainly these guys. These guys over here, I give for hyperthyroid. Hyper is high, hypo is low, okay? So with these, the key thing you need to know is I don't like giving thyroid supplements at nighttime because I'm afraid of keeping you awake at night. Okay, so what you should say in your bottle is 1 to 3 a.m., 1 to 3 lunch. What that means is I want you to start off with taking 1 and 1 for two days. Now, what I want you to be aware of is how do I feel? Do I feel good? Like, I care about that, but I really don't care for the increase. What I want to make sure you're not doing is if this is your normal range and I think you're down here, I need to figure out how much thyroid dosing do I need to get you here without getting you here. Hyper, hyper is not good. Hype, normal thyroid, we call it euthyroid is fine. And low thyroid is bad. So we're trying to get you here. So we're gonna use your symptomatology, your, how you feel to tell me where you are, okay? So if you cross this line, this is an obvious line, okay? What you're gonna feel is jittery, shaky, panicky, your heart's going to race. You're going to have a hard time falling asleep. You're going to have loose stools. There's a bunch of hyperthyroid. It feels like you've been overstimulated. If you have a new symptom that just pops up, all right, and it's not a good thing, it seems like a bad thing, it might be that we're on too much thyroid. It also might be you're reacting to something in the product, um, but it might be that you're on too much. And so I would recommend that at that point you cut back. If you just started at one and one, then you just get off of it. Does that symptom go away? Yes? Okay, go back and you weren't sure, you go, well, it didn't describe anything on your list, so I don't know if it's, right, go back on at one and one. Did the symptom come back? Yes, okay, so that, so the supplement's doing something bad. At that point, we're not gonna have you take it because I don't need to hurt you to help you, okay? So, so for that, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna then wait till next visit and then we're gonna start over. We're gonna find a different supplement that doesn't do that, hopefully, and then we go from there, all right? So, but here we go, one and one in the morning, one in the morning, one at lunch, okay? Now, if you have no symptoms, either you feel good or you don't, but you don't have any hyper symptoms, in, after two days, I'm gonna put you up to two in the morning and two at lunch. You're gonna do two days at that and then three and three. If at any point in time, like if you go up to two and two and you start going, my hand's shaking, or my heart's beating out of my chest, um, or I'm having panic attacks, or jittery, I just don't feel good, then, then that may be, we must have, again, we might have crossed the line here, and we need to get you back into this zone. Once we get you back in that zone, once you get back to the safe the thing that didn't produce those symptoms, you should be better, all right? So, let's see. So we've got one and one, two and two, three and three. If you get to three and three and you go, I don't, I don't feel any of this, right? I don't even feel really any better, then that's fine because next time I see you, I'm going to check to see, do you need more, right? And if you need more, then we're going to give you more, all right? It's, it's really that simple. Now, my um, thyroid stuff that I'm giving works for the day you're, you're taking it. Sometimes even the hour. So if you go hyper, you should just be hyper for, for an hour or two, tops. So if you're going, well, this is kind of scary, my heart, you know, like this, I know. But just for an hour or two, we had to figure out where this line was, and now we know, and now we're going to bring you back, okay? So um, the typical prescription meds take like six to eight weeks to, to break into full dosage. So to know that you're on the right dose, you have to wait six to eight. For us, we don't have to do that. For natural stuff, because I'm not, none of my products have thyroid hormone in it, okay? So I'm just helping your body make its own thyroid. I'm just helping your thyroid do a better job of this whole thyroid system of working. And that's the whole goal, right? Now, here's the thing. You might go, well, I got to three and three, and 
and maybe I test you the next week and you're like fine at three and three and you just stay there and you stay there for weeks, maybe months, maybe even years or whatever. And all of a sudden at three and three, you start getting jittery, shaky. All of a sudden you have loose stools for several days in a row and you're like, well, this is weird. What can happen here is that that level of thyroid, because I'm giving stuff that's nutritionally supporting your thyroid, your thyroid could be getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And if that's the case, then, then we can lower the dose, right? We can drop back, all right? So I just want to let you know that that's the case and that's a possibility. The goal here is to just get you feeling better. I don't care if you, you start thyroid and end up coming off thyroid. Again, I just want you feeling better. So um, I think that covers everything I wanted to say today. So, um, so good luck taking your thyroid. Contact the office if you have any questions, if nothing makes sense of what's happening, and we'll try and fix that. Usually the front desk can answer questions. If it's something that's um, above their pay grade, they will let me know, and, uh, and we'll try and figure it out. Anyways, thank you very much. Have a great day.